Right, in this video today I'm going to show you how to make this new tool here. It's called an Everlasting Match and it's a petrol lighter, a manually operated um, petrol lighter. It has a ferrous rod inbuilt on the side here. The cylinder contains lighter fuel and then there's a match striker in which you strike on that um, ferrous rod there and it ignites on the end of the actual match and you can use it to light um, burners or campfires or whatever. And they call it an everlasting match because it lasts for such a long time on one fill up of fuel. So to use the lighter you first unscrew the top here and then strike it against the ferrous rod on the side and it lights the match. And that's a stainless steel rod on there and it's been bored out the end or drilled out the end so it's a bit larger than the um, Swiss file end, um, you'll see that in the video. Um, the Swiss files pushed in the end there with a bit of Loctite 638 and there's a bit of a bore around the Swiss file in which you push some um, lighter wick or you can actually use cotton wool. So when it goes into the cylinder it soaks up the lighter fuel and stays wet the whole time and all the time that you're not actually using the um, lighter the fuel stays safe and it doesn't evaporate at all. And the lighter is actually made out of um, four different parts really and a couple of doughty seals again. Um, the top here unscrews from the actual cylinder as well and you put some cotton wool down in that cylinder to actually soak up the fuel and that's a quarter inch doughty seal on that one I've shown those before on these um, little lamps I've made. In the video you'll see that um, when I make this on the Chinese mini lathe I did actually use the four millimeter ferrous rods I get these off of eBay and you can cut them to length or whatever and I actually did mill the cylinder to a four millimeter groove and only inserted one rod after the video I didn't like that so I milled it out to eight millimeter and inserted two ferrous rods and then you can actually strike the match down the center groove and that makes it so much better So the machining on the video starts with this actual cylinder finished with the thread in it and I start off by actually milling the slot on the side using my tool post vise. And I've designed this one to be uh, bigger than the actual um, everlasting matches you can buy on eBay. I don't think they're very good quality ones and they don't actually last that long on um, fuel fill up. This one I've designed it so you can actually hold this one. It's a nice um, feel to it and very easy to actually strike it like a match. Right, so I finished the cylinder part and put the quarter inch BSP um, thread in there and now I've put it up in my tool post vise and I'm going to mill the slot for the ferrous rod. The ferrous rod is 4mm in diameter so I've got a 4mm 4 flute end mill and I've got my long stop so that I can um, allow the carriage to go in maybe about 10 thou at a time for milling. And I've checked the tool or the um, tool post vise for centre height and it's spot on.
So that's the slot finished. So now I can saw the ferrous rod to length. And just round the ends on the disc sander. So now the ferrous rod is exactly the same length as the actual slot and I've rounded both ends so it'll actually fit in there nice and now I'm going to just put a drop of Loctite 63A at each end and then I'm going to press it in. And I have that one protruding by one and a half millimeter from the actual diameter of this aluminium but you could actually leave the groove a bit shallower and have it maybe two millimetre or maybe a little bit more if you want to. So now I've got another piece of 22 millimetre aluminium so it's the same size as the lower half. I've faced off one end and now I'm going to face off the other end and turn it for the diameter for a quarter inch BSP thread. So now I'm going to do the thread undercut and make sure I've got a good finish on this shoulder for the seal. And now the thread chamfer on the front. And now I'm going to use a quarter inch BSP HSS die in my homemade die holder.
So now I'll turn it round and drill through with a core diameter for a 1 8 BSP thread. And then the 1 8 BSP tap held in my four jaw self centering Sanu chuck. And that's that component finished and it can have the quarter inch BSP Doughty seal on there and then that one screws together with the cylinder and seals that part up. So now I'm going to make the striker top out of a piece of half inch hexagon brass. So now the 1 8 BSP die, because it's a fine thread, I can actually hold this one and let it go down rather than putting a bar in here and winding it in manually. So 
So on the striker handle there, I'm going to put a few grooves on it with my two millimetre groove tool. And just deburr those with a triangular file. And now I'll pull it out again a bit more to part it off. So now I'll put it back in the jaws and I'm going to drill about halfway down with a 5mm drill. So next I have a piece of 8mm stainless steel because that one will actually fit down in the 1 8 BSP bore. And now I'm going to face that one off and turn that to fit the striker head.
and that one's just about going. So then I turn that one round, face off and centre drill. And now I'm going to drill it with a drill the same size as the handle of the Swiss file I'm using. So this is the Swiss file I'm using, it's a flat one and now I'm going to use a drill which is about a millimetre narrower than the actual width of the flat file. And that one needs to be about 10 millimetre deep. Right, so now I've fitted the handle with Loctite 63A and I've bored out this end a little bit um, bigger than the um, Swiss file and that's to allow some um, cotton wool to be pushed in there um, to soak up the fuel and I've put it in the vise like that and used a chainsaw sharpening file just to put a groove across one way and then the Swiss file will go in this way so it looks like that the actual U is on the flat side of the file either side and now I can tap that one home So that's nice and tight in there like that and now I've got to cut this off carefully on the grinding wheel so I'll grind it off um, back here just on the corner of the grinding wheel and snap that off. And then I put the seal on this one, the 1 8th BSP Doughty seal. It's best to buy them with a centralising lip on the um, centre of the bore there, and that centres it actually on the thread. 
Um, this is the older type ones without the centralizing lip. Uh, so I put a O-ring around the actual thread groove on the um, component and then twist that one onto that O-ring and then that won't fall off in use. And when that one screws home, that's sealed.